Hi, I'm Barry Foster. And I'm Gary Foster. And welcome back to episode number four of Antipodean Journey with UP Langrio. And the pain continues. It does. It does. Um, yes, we're propping up the, the, the ladder. Um, and as you can see, our performances have ranged from mediocre to very, very poor. So since you last joined us, we had a nil-nil draw um, at home to Arantario. And then two poor performances away from home, culminating in a um, a two nil away loss to um, Bergantinos. So things are looking bleak. We've changed our formation, uh, but the results remain the same. No, that's right. Nothing has changed at all. It's almost impossible uh, to get a good performance out of um, so many of the players, and we're yet to win a game. Mm. in either the competition itself or pre-season. It's yeah. just been a disaster. The longest losing streak, I think, in our playing history of football manager, let alone anything mm. else. We are on the uh, the list of um, unsecure um, uh, uh, managers, so uh, we're not expecting to maybe be around for too long. The board have us on a D. They're disappointed with us, um, funny enough, the supporters have got us only a C minus, yeah, which, only uh, slightly disappointed. Yeah, which uh, seems quite unusual. But um, a press report during the week said that a poor result on the weekend could seal our fate. So you never, never know. Well, in uh, seven days' time, we've got a home game against Valladolid, and uh, they're coming 17th, only a point above us. So this is a real six-pointer for both sides. We've got to win this. Yes. Um, we do have another game after them at home against Polvoren. Uh, they're, uh, well, six points clear of us now in 15th spot, but both these games are really six-pointers. Uh I guess, will, will we be around for both of them? That's well, the big question. <laughs> well, we have to, we have to win. They're, they're both home games. Our home form hasn't been great, but um, these guys are in the same boat as us, so it just depends who wants it more, us or them. Okay, well, let's um, do some work and we'll see you in seven days' time. Hopefully. And uh, one day before our next game, as you can see, uh, this has come through for us to read. Foster on verge of sack ahead of Valladolid match. Um, and they're calling it uh, El Sacchio mm. approaches for Foster and Julio Baptista. Yes. Yeah, so well, the managers are un under pressure from both teams. Well, it's going to be more than a six-pointer. There's your... your job security as, as well. So it's going to be interesting to see just who's up for it. Um, Valladolid, their, uh, their form's only marginally better than ours, but uh, winless in the last five. So it's up for grabs. It's a, it is indeed. So let's get to El Sacchio. And here's the, uh, the starting 11 for today's game. We've got uh, Gilly in goal and uh, Bacoli, Elaine, Hevia and I call Rodriguez across our back line. Jandrin, Samba, Sanchez and Davo Fernandez in midfield. Uh, Zulas and Homet will lead the attacking line. And we're going to go attacking yep. with a lot of um, hopefully um, uh, flair in this game. So let's go and chat to the boys. Yes, we're going all in. Okay, well, we've got a squad of nervous and uh, hesitant players. So this isn't going to go well, whatever we... We do, but I think if we're calm and we expect nothing but a win, um, it's got to be the way to go. We've been uh, saying that and thinking that, I think, for a long time, oh, haven't we? Gosh. <laughs> That's super frustrating. Okay, the, uh, the cellar dwellers get prepared for battle. Yes, yeah, so Mr. Batista, he had a bit of war of words with us in the press during the, during the week, so we're out to stick it up in. Well, we're playing attacking. Hopefully the boys will do just that. Mm. And we've got possession early in the match. And we're giving it away early in the match. Well, oh, no. Well, Homet pinched it from uh, his opponent. Now, come on, Piccoli. Drop Get it. a nice cross in if you can. Samba, you can do it. Here this go. is good. Oh, oh, Davo. He has actually given us the lead after barely three minutes. 
Yes, well, we've only had the league once before this. <laughs> this yeah, current, well, yes, this yeah, that's right. Season, so it's um, yeah. I think we lost that game three one, didn't we? Probably did. <laughs> we certainly didn't win it. Yeah, uh, Coley drives into the box and uh, a good cross and Davo coming in. Yeah, he was uh, ghosting in from the right wing. Yeah, she showed the, uh, the sh- he showed the uh, the strikers how to score. So that's uh, an encouraging start. Well, for a change. Yeah, yeah, it makes the the necktie feel a little bit looser around the around the neck. Yes, well, it'd be good to uh, if we can move off the bottom, but there's still uh, lots of uh, work to be done. That's if we can, of course, win this game. Yeah. But once again, we wait for a uh, a second highlight. Well, actually, if it just goes through and there's not another highlight, it means we win one nil. So I'd, I'd I'd be happy with that. I'd, Happy to take the soft option. Oh, yes, indeed, at the moment, yes. And most of the players seem to be uh, performing okay. Um, yes. It's a bit difficult at times when you're just staring at uh, figures, but... Uh, yeah, just watching them click over, it doesn't, uh, doesn't give you a good feel for the game. Okay, defending a corner, how confident are you? Oh, gee, that was very, very close to the equaliser. Yes. The woodwork comes to our rescue. Could have been 1-1, one, one, but anyway, we escaped the bullet. But they've uh, still got the uh, the ball. Diving header by Elaine Davo with a bit of a pointless header to no one. Yeah. Um, and oh. that's a pretty good cross. We now, have come a, on. We, we have an inability to clear our lines. Very poor, very poor. No. Oh, gee, that was close. Yeah. That wasn't a bad attempt. Yeah. Yes, I must admit the um, defensive work trying to clear the ball from our penalty area is abysmal. Um, often the headers are just uh, lollipops oh, to nowhere. Yeah. and uh, Or to the opposition. Yeah. But we're uh, maybe a bit over 10 minutes away from half time. A bit of encouragement. And uh, we've uh, not conceded. Let's not talk too soon. No, oh, this is go. a pretty good ball. Here we go. And there it is. All too easy. Once again, we're opened up like a can of sardines. Yeah, a ball over the top. is a killer hmm. in FM23. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice ball, but he just ran through and nobody tracked him and hmm. can't blame the keeper for that. No. So 1-1. One, one. Okay, so it's back on to game on then. It is indeed. We'll call out some encouragement. Hopefully, it's interesting, they've had nine shots to our four. Better XG, more more possession, three corners to two, and a better match um, average rating as well. Mm. I'm starting to feel a little bit nervous. Yeah. <laughs> but it hasn't been reflected in the highlights, though. No, well, once again, we, we gave away possession so cheaply there. Now that was, I think, uh, Homet. Now, now they've done precisely the same thing. I, I think I can see why these two teams are uh, near the bottom. Yeah, he's, as loose as it, can he? He can. He oh can. my God, he's actually scored. Good grief! That's his first <laughs> goal. That's his first yes. goal of the year. Bloody hell! Unbelievable. At least he scored his first ah, goal before loose. Christmas. <laughs> okay, Jan Drin with a good uh, run and a nice ball. Through and he kept his nerve and beat the keeper. Okay, two one. First time we scored two goals all year. Absolutely, yes. We're on fire. The fat lady was starting to warm up, but I think she <laughs> sat down. <laughs> and that's it. Half time at the football. Good crowd, six hundred and sixty nine, or that says four hundred and fifty. I can't work that one out. Yeah. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, so the the boys are, are looking relatively composed. I think we should be assertive, yeah, point the finger. But we are happy with their performances. We want it to be maintained. Well, absolutely. Very rare that we actually lead at half time two goals to one. We did it once in the uh, the preseason, but it ended up one one, yeah. unfortunately. But um, it is an unusual position for the team to be in. Yeah, playing from the front. Who'd have thought it? But maybe they like attacking football. 
and oh. also long ball because yeah. we uh, we're not playing short passing anymore. No, it's all route ones stuff. So um, yeah, not um, not a great crowd pleaser. But if it gets us three points, that will be um, that will be all, uh, all that's needed. And everybody is actually um, performing pretty well. Never seen figures like this no, before. No, no. Samba, Jandron, and even a, a striker averaging 7.1. That is unusual for this team. So uh, maybe the uh, our luck is turning. Well, we've got fitness levels to, to get through this game. So Okay, we've made a couple of uh, quick substitutions, uh, Pavita and uh, Hernandez have both come onto the uh, the field, but um, so far we're hanging on to this two one lead. Ten minutes to go, and uh, I think we'll call out some praise to the boys because for mm. once they're actually winning a game of football. Yes. Now, hopefully, <laughs> they no. don't get too cocky in the last five minutes. Do we need any last minute subs? Well, I think we'll. Um, We'll go for some uh, time wasting. There's only four minutes of added time. I don't think there's going to be another highlight. I think we're just going to um, come away with our first victory of the season. Good grief. The board might have to put the gun away. Indeed, they do. Well, Langrio, 2-1. 2-1, the first <laughs> win of the season with... Uh, Davo Hernandez in the third minute and then Mikel in the 44th. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay. Well, well, this is a bit um, yeah. unusual. It's got to be outstretched arms and, boy, that, that was a great win for us. Yeah, give them all a cuddle. Okay, let's go and see how the rest of the uh, competition fared. And with that win, uh, UP Langrio have doubled their points and moved off the uh, bottom of the table onto six points, three points behind Paul uh, Voren, and they are our next opponent mm. at home. So that's another six-pointer. Another massive game for the boys. Absolutely. So let's get to that game. Well, we might be six days away from our next game, but we've just seen, even though we've come away with our first win of the season, Foster, we are now right up the list of insecure jobs. We're third from the top. That's a pretty uh, bad sign. And when we click on Club Vision, we've gone to an F. <laughs> Before the game, we I think we were on uh, C-. minus. C-. But yeah. the board, even though we won a match, have put us on an F. They're saying they're bitterly disappointed with us and the supporters are agreeing with them. I They think we're doing a terrible job. Um, are we going to get to the next match I guess time will tell, but um, we'll, we'll do our best to get there. Well, Vala Doled, they sacked their manager um, yesterday as a result of that um, of us winning. So it could be um, El Sacco for us again coming up. Well, time will tell. And here we are with our uh, starting uh, 11 for today's match. We haven't changed the uh, starting 11 uh, Gillian Goal, uh, Piccoli, Elaine, Hevia and Rodriguez across the back line with Jandrin, Samba, da David Sanchez and Davo Fernandez in midfield and Homet and Azulus will lead the attacking line and hopefully once again with some bite. Well, yes, and we were able to get through, negotiate the week apart from some Bad, uh, bad press by the opposition manager who thinks we should have been sacked. He did indeed. But anyway, let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, well, it's another big six-pointer game, so I think we should remain calm and just reinforce that our, our home form is important to us. So go with that. And we got no reaction apart from Mr Samba. Well, that can be a little bit misleading, those reactions. But um, And, of course, the yes, the uh, Trashorus, the uh, opposing manager, did trash us during the week, yeah, said that we deserve to be in the um, situation we're in, which I thought wasn't very sporting. Oh. But anyway... Um, so much for managerial solidarity. Yes, that's right. Anyway, away we go in another six-pointer here at uh, UP Langrio. It was interesting with the um, team talks, we didn't have the one to do with um, pick up where you left off. No. Considering we won the last match at home, but... Um, Maybe the computer's just surprised as what we were that, um, you know, and didn't give us that option. 
Well, a bit of a cagey start, I guess, in this match from both sides, but... Uh, Not many shots in anger? No, no. Probably scrapping over the ball in midfield, but we'll uh, call out some encouragement to the boys. See if we can just pick them up. Our, our strikers aren't faring terribly well. No, it's funny. It's um, I've never had a team that is so hard to motivate. It is just extraordinary. Anyway, defending a free kick here. Can we? Far post. Oh, Lady Luck was with us then. Yeah. That was almost 1-0. I hope it's not a sign of things to come. But here's a free kick for us. Now, Jandrin, yes. he can strike them pretty well. He's gone for it. Oh, good save. Another good save. Mm. So he hit that well. Keeper did a good job keeping it out. But a corner. Oh, far post. As usual, number 17 lurking there. Elaine didn't quite get to him. Anyway, Samba can maybe pump it back in. And he does just that, but uh, not finding the man. And that's been cleared. Yeah, but still got possession until the highlight reel. Okay, Rojo pumping it into our box. And that's a... Ooh, for a split second there, I thought it was um, back of the net bound. Want to drop? Okay, once again, strikers aren't striking. No, but it's a bit, it's a bit of an, an even tussle out there. Uh, no one's really getting on top. At least we've had shots on target. But uh, Castro now with a throw from Paul Voren. We've got about uh, 10 minutes or so to go until half time. Ooh, and uh, that was very wasteful. Got himself into a good position, but very poor execution. I don't think we'll call out any more shouts. We'll just uh, see how them half pans out. But um, once again, the forward line, struggling. Yes. Um, but as I said, two shots that we've had have both been on target, whereas Bavoran have been quite wasteful. So. Mm. Well, our XG is pretty dismal. <laughs> Slightly, well, it has improved now. But anyway, that's going to be half time, nil-nil. Mm. Once again, 668 fans, only two for the away team. It says down there, 435. Yeah. Funny yeah. figures. Let's go and chat to the boys. Well, we're not going to uh, point the old finger. Let's pump the fists and tell the boys it's time for everyone to dig in. Um, whether that gets through their thick heads, who knows. <laughs> but um, it's worth a, a shout like that. But uh, immediately we get... Um, Jandrin on a yellow card and another free kick for the visitors. That's why the yeah. keeper didn't even move. Yes, yeah, so it was wider, very wide of the mark. But once again, Homet struggling as a striker. And that's so yeah. disappointing. Yeah. But anyway, Pacoli now with a throw for... The home side, oh, as he blocked, shot. blocked, maybe he should have done better from that position. But that was another chance. And with that, his uh, rating has gone to 6.3. And uh, I think we're about to make a substitution. We'll just see how this highlight pans out. Similar play. No, we're going to turn Well, he's lucky he got it back now. Davo on his head. Oh, we no. got it on his head, but just over. Okay, we've just um, swapped our two strikers. So we've got uh, Inglesias and Hernandez on the oh. oh, off the crossbar on the park. Yeah, we we mixed it up. We're we're going for broke. We weren't happy with what they were putting out for us. So two new strikers. Hopefully, will do a better job. Okay, another free kick, and Sanchez will pump it in. Who's on the end of this? Oh, Samba. Oh, Samba. That was a good header, but just couldn't get it down. Mm. But uh, it is a bit disappointing that um, our playmaker has been struggling in some of our matches. But anyway, he's got a free kick here. Short one. Nice one. But once again, header over the bar. Yeah. Paul Voren, they seem to be giving away a lot of free kicks. All the, all the highlights seem to be down their end, which well, is good. Well, that's okay with me. Yeah, as long as we can stick one away, though. Okay, we've just brought on uh, young Ruiz and Povida. Uh, Povida, a midfielder, to maybe um, spark things up for us. 
with about 20 minutes to go. Well, it's anyone's game. It is. Look, our shots have improved in this uh, in this um, half, 10 shots to 7, but um, we're not finding the back of the net. I think once again we'll call out some encouragement. Oh, Paul Voran certainly wouldn't want to lose this game. Um, well, neither do we. <laughs> no, but it makes the, makes the final 10 minutes though quite um, well, tense. We're playing attacking football again. Hmm. Um, it worked last match, but um, hasn't had quite the same result this match. But it looks as though this could be heading for a draw, but maybe, maybe there will be some last-minute drama for one of the sides. Samba looking hmm. for Mr Hernandez, but this is Pavita. He can have a crack if he wants to. Oh, well, <laughs> he did. <laughs> Not so much a crack as a link. He pulled Effort. it wide. Ooh. Anyway, somebody's got injured. They're going to get the throw. But he's uh, obviously got instructions to waste time. He gets the ball in now. And they'll probably just faff about, about yeah, with it. He was off the field and he's just wandered on during play. You're not supposed there to. There you go. Play. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. Nil, nil. Well, not quite the result we wanted. It wasn't a defeat, but um, will a point save the Foster brothers? Well, well we're yeah. about to find out. We're about to find out. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, well, let's uh, put the old hands on the hips and we'll just tell the boys they were a bit unlucky. We did hit the woodwork. Yeah. Um, so uh, let's see how we fare. And okay, uh, the nil-nil result uh, sees us still in 17th uh, position on seven points, five points from safety. Compostela still leading on 22 points, but has that uh, draw saved the Foster brothers? I think we're about to find out. Yes. Okay, in six days' time, we're away to Real Lovido Vetusta, and they're coming uh, sixth in the league on 20 points. We're uh, still got an F from the board and also the fans, and we're still third from the top in the insecure job list. Well, let's find out whether we make it to the next game. Yeah. Well, we're three days away from our next match, and uh, we haven't been fired, so I guess uh, that's a good sign. So looking at the schedule, what we'll do, we'll play the next uh, three matches um, off camera, and we'll come back for... Um, Real Villas. Real Villas, uh, that's going to be a, a home game for us. So uh, Real Oviedo, Vetusta, Cristo and Burgos will play those games off camera and we'll see you for that next match. Well, that's the, uh, that's the, the video. Um, once again, probably slightly better, I guess, than previous videos, but well, that's probably to be... Could, could be debated. Yeah. Anyway, if you have enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. That'll be really great. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. <laughs>